Welcome to The Hot Fix, I'm Taylor Zeller. Many players were reminded this weekend why digital distribution of games can be so finicky. In a now viral post on Reddit, a user by the name Trivial Sublime posted how he was having trouble accessing Origin, Electronic Arts' official storefront for digital games. I'll let his post speak for itself. I live in Myanmar, and I own about 20 games on Origin, and I've spent hundreds of dollars on the platform. I bought the full editions of all of the Battlefield games up to this point, with their season passes. I was trying to log into Origin a few days ago and got a bizarre access denied message. I googled it and found that Origin is no longer available in Myanmar. Now, for console users, this may not seem like a big deal, but Origins is more than just a storefront, it's also an access point. So by being denied access to the Origin homepage, players in Myanmar were also being blocked from playing the games they had paid for. The Reddit post then links to a page on the EA Answers platform, where a champion going by Dark Amrath 1966 posted a weird response to the question. In his post, he stated, quote, with the Origins 10 update, US laws, which is where EA is based, force them to block certain countries. Unfortunately, you live in one of those countries. I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do here to allow you access again. I know, many of you are probably thinking that that answer sounds pretty legit, but here's the problem. You see, back in 1990, the United States removed the ambassador to Myanmar, then Burma, after the military refused to hand over control to a civilian government. Official U.S. sanctions were placed in 2003, when Congress passed the Burma Freedom and Democracy Act. But these sanctions started to be relaxed in 2011, after the military began ceding some control to civilians. President Barack Obama officially ended economic sanctions against the country on October 7th, after pledging to do so following a White House meeting with Nobel Prize laureate and Myanmar Prime Minister-elect Aung San Suu Kyi back in mid-September. Players didn't begin to experience these issues until around this time, when EA updated their origin, but the sanctions were decades old, and Myanmar isn't the only country being affected. In another post on the EA Answers page, community manager EA Tom stated, quote, in compliance with the US embargoes and sanction laws, Origin is not available in Cuba, Iran, Myanmar, North Korea, Sudan, Syria, and Ukraine, specifically the Crimea region. This post was later updated to clarify that EA was working on restoring access to players from Myanmar, but it seems as if it wasn't until mid-September that EA even began enforcing these sanctions, long after the players in these regions had purchased their games. So what do you think? Do you think it was fair of EA to block players from playing their games, even if the player had already purchased the game based solely off of where they logged onto the internet? Should players be forced to log into Origin to play their games after they purchased them? Leave a comment down below and let us know. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, hit that like button and subscribe to Spectator Mode.